Welcome back to game 2 between FedEx and Brew playing in this um, Losers Bracket Finals. It's game 2, we've seen FedEx take game 1 already. Byzantine War. we are now in a Cults War. FedEx in red and Brew in green playing usual, as usual. I think players don't use to change colors uh, while the playing is set. Maybe some do, those aren't uh, doing that. Again, red against green. I'm gonna fast forward pr uh, a little bit here already. Main gold, second gold to the front. Inside, uh, luckily not ideal. Third gold outside with a second stone here and the main stone that's a little bit trapped. He might be able to get it in the long run. The second gold very safe in the back can take it. If he wants to get up a castle, we get three deer inside. Uh, one boar inside, second one is here already. Gonna go a little bit slow, uh, though. Mm, the time is running there. Uh, what else? Let's see, does it get any relics inside? Yeah, that's one relic inside his brain. I thought I saw one. And we have one, two, three, four relics closer to Brew, so it might pay off for him to take the relics here. We have one extra gold, which is closer to Brew, actually. Brew three deer outside. Let me quickly go here. Main gold, pretty safe in the back. Extra berries here in the back of his base. Mm, nothing here else. Let's see, main stone to the front. Second gold inside his base to the front. Uh, unlucky blocking the gate here. Second stone. Blocked by the gate, but I can delete that, no problem. That, oh my god. Um, getting the deer in from outside, it's pretty far away, but he's gonna be able to do it, no problem usually for him, for an expert player. Uh, second boar coming at this point. Uh, otherwise, nothing, nothing special about these maps, I think. There is a third gold, let's show that one. Not too sure. Let's see what players are going to do actually. If we're gonna see a fight for the relics, maybe siege workshop early, or maybe even a castle drop or defensive castle drop and booming. Not too sure what Kels should do here. I've seen different ways of playing Kels. Uh, I've not tried too much of them, but uh, should be problem. Let's see if you're running out. Yeah, that was a little bit lucky. Sometimes just walking by, sometimes you can get it to, s to stay there, but now it's Kind of trapped and bad luck for Brew here. And Deer is running out again. He's trying to go for the next one. Five farms up for Brew at this point. FedEx got four. He got his deer in as far as I can judge here. Barracks coming up. So we're gonna see scouts or maybe even archers. Let's see what players are going to do here. FedEx gonna hit the field age first. He's going stables blacksmiths. Yeah. I won. I guess there was a little bit of a scout fight here. Brew predicting he's winning, but uh, FedEx Scout surviving. Stable also coming up for Brew. Both up to Castle Age at almost exactly the same time, just one second difference. Brew only taking two deer. Doesn't get in the third one because the scout was interrupted, I guess. Uh, nothing too important. There's four in gold here, only three for FedEx. Standard research is coming in. And there's one villager going forward a little bit. Let's see what FedEx is planning to do. Of course, you get the advantage with one scout out. Now there's the scout from Brew uh, already out. FedEx, or it wasn't FedEx point of view. Did he get a second scout already? No, not yet actually. Is he going for knights? No, there's a scout coming out. Uh, got enough wood for two TCs, monastery, or one TC monastery, and same coin. Uh, don't know what that's about. Monastery house coming up, 91% done. Sh maybe should finish it. Monastery very forward, so FX is going for the relics. Same time, he's getting one more TC and two more TCs. Brew going for, let's see, stable monastery is up. Not too sure, a little bit of scout fighting now. There's two versus two scouts, but looks like Brew is a little bit. Uh, Brews are a little bit injured. Spear already out for. FedEx here, I'm assuming Bruce is gonna get one as well. Maybe two, not right now, and FedEx with the advantage here. Mm, got another scout as far as I can see, got a monk out now, siege workshop coming up. Brew going for a second town center, not a third, second is up, third right now, and his main gold. Uh, and the monk probably gonna die, two hits, and there we go, got a scout in return. Mm, that's okay. A monk coming out here, but it's just taking so long for a spear to kill a scout and deleting a uh, spear before it get, gets converted. In the meantime, FedEx collecting a lot of relics here. Got one in already, he's gonna get another two, and he's probably gonna get all of them then. 
The last one is in his base. Mm, he is happily booming uh, with three TCs at this point of the game. He's gonna cut out his stone to take it later. A few more monks out. Spear and monk there for Brook. Starting to convert. Got two spears, but probably, yeah, uh, it's already converted back. They used two, both monks. Not ideal, maybe. Mm, spears with the scouts. That's pretty merit here. Brook gonna catch a monk. Very nice. And converting another spearman. Now, Felix going back. Siege workshop is up. Manganel coming out. Nobody going for knights at this point. Maybe should have used one a little bit earlier. Now there's monks out. And the run for a fourth relic has begun. Both players are going to go there. Mm, let's see. No, Brew actually going back. Uh, a nice hit on the scout. Brew got, his, got three TCs up. FedEx also three TCs. So, fourth TC probably a little bit later. Mm, resources, yeah, they're using all of that. FedEx actually resources looking really fine. It could be up to Imperial Age quite soon. Two Manganals out even. Let's see what he can do with it. And I'm interested to see if there are knight. No, it's two scouts. No knights for, for Brew here. It could have been a good option if you micro them against the monks. Uh, of course, you have to run away. But they're doing a lot of damage, especially to Siege. I'm not sure though if Bruno knows about the Siege Workshop. He should know it. Yeah, I think so. So he's gonna expect something come up and there's a defensive Siege Workshop for Bru. Mm, FedEx? No, not up to Imperial Age, but he's very close. Building a market now. Building a lumber camp to cut the rest of the trees here. Probably worth it at this point. Uh, and villagers, FedEx ate ahead. Brook got one monk here, very nice job. The monk who got the relic in, but uh, one scout and monk is down. Another scout uh, being killed in return from the sp spearman. Mm, FedEx killing one scout, deleting it before it gets converted. Once again, Brew is sending a scout out to uh, catch a monk, probably. Mm, still two mangonels, and I'm assuming FedEx should be able to up to him village quite soon. He could sell a little bit of wood if he wants to. Brew not so close. He got a manganel out. He's uh, gonna attack the siege workshop. Not too sure. He's in danger of losing a manganel here. Or maybe the monks. But no redemption for Kals as far as, as far as I know. 3TC is still for both players as far as I can see here. No, that's actually number 4 now on the second gold for FedEx. So it's gonna be ahead in villages even more. Mm, Brew starting to attack the siege workshop, which is actually a mistake because you can see he yeah, one manganel in. And Manganel shot on the ram, maybe. Scouts are getting it. Very nice job. And even trying to kill the monk here. The spears are faster. Manganel is out. Uh, gonna kill the ram uh, pretty fast, I I'm assuming. Brew is going to have to run away. Felix, in the meantime, clicking up to Imperial Age, getting Wheelbarrow very late. Uh, not standard here. 26 minutes. But a lot of wood in the bank, which he could sell. Prices look good. Nobody uh, used the market right now. And both players are collecting stone. Brew almost the... Um, I think he's sold now. He should sold a little bit of wood. Yep, there we go. He got the resources to go up to Imperial Age. Let's see who can get the first castle out. I'm assuming we're gonna see Vote Raiders. Brew already on his second stone. He has seven villages. His house a little bit. Uh, same amount of villages actually. So FedEx is cut a little bit. It's getting loom now. A few more houses. And can now take his main stone as well as the second one, which is already taking. Felix can have enough stone for a castle soon. Brew is already getting one up now on the m on his main stone here, but losing three villagers. Although they have loom, very nice manganel shots here from Felix, who is gonna go gonna have to go away. Mm, Felix protecting his goal, the castle here, nice position. I like it. And now we have to wait. What players are going to do? Imperial Age gonna hit for Felix first. What is FedEx gonna do with his resources? Oh my god, his resources, damn it. Uh, Manganel in, and the castle for Brew is not gonna go up, which isn't very good for him. Castle FedEx will be up soon, 30 minutes into the game. Uh, Spears gonna be lost now, TC fire, no problem. Uh, he denied the castle for now. Another one coming up for Brew in the back, protecting this eco here on the farms and woodline. Mm, one scout still out, Brew now to Imperial Age as well. Scale mail armor coming in. And he's trying to finish the castle. Nice manganel shot. FedEx going for traps. Another forward castle here. And this castle will go up, but FedEx will have traps out earlier probably. He's going to attack the castle as soon as he can. And Bru not going traps at this point. Only manganel out. Uh, not much military on the map. 
to 32 minutes in. Once again, nice man analogy this time for FedEx, and the first throw is out to hit the castle. In which Bruce, researching Elite Vault Raider, is going to get it up because only one trap for now. Second one coming in, so Bru deciding to go Elite Vault Raider at this point, not having uh, too many of them. I'm assuming, uh, again, wrong player. Is he getting Vault Raiders at this point? No, he should start. There we go. Producing them, he's going to repair the castle, not getting traps out. So he's gonna be minus one castle, he should be able to get another one soon. It's not even worth repairing this castle, really. A few water is getting out still, but then it's gonna be lost. And maybe FedEx is gonna be able to push. He's right now castle pushing and using the traps, but not, not much military uh, for FedEx. As well as for Bru, just a few vote raiders coming out now for FedEx. Let's see how Bru is going to do. He's uh, 1k behind the score actually, and FedEx now going for the vote raiders as well. But at this point, he is moving out, gonna face the vote raiders. Of course, the monk very useful here. Gonna convert vote raiders or heal the, uh, the units that are uh, being attacked by Bru here. And Bru doesn't have any kind of map control. He's not gonna have too much gold left. Once uh, FedEx is going to hit to raid, three traps out. Let's see where is he going to go. What is he going to attack? Maybe a siege workshop next. Now it's going to be lead vote raider fights here. Both players got them. Plus four done for FedEx. Uh, Brew plus two, two uh, and plus one attack. But FedEx number for an advantage. Uh, I got three castles, four castles. I think it's three. Mm, got more villagers at this point, and he's gonna raid where he can as soon as he's cleared uh, Bruce's army here. Bru only now with the second castle up again because he lost the first one, so he's way behind in vote raider production and probably not the best eco here. He's missing a little bit of food, he's getting a lot of food so at this point. Uh, of course, they have created so so fast, but FedEx can do the same thing, and FedEx resources looking very good here. A lot of wood still left, but uh, sold out, of course. Um, 14 gold only now. Castle is gonna go down probably because FedEx is gonna be able to protect his traps. Only one trap out for Brew here, who will have troubles. And now even a ram coming in for FedEx, who's going for Blast Furnace at this point. So it's gonna go plus four attack and have fully upgraded Elite World Raiders. Castle is going to fall, and I uh, wouldn't be surprised if Brew called the GG after this castle is down and FedEx is gonna win this little fight here. A lot of World Raiders still coming in. And there we go, castle almost down, next few hits would have, uh, would have put it down. Same time, I didn't see FedEx raiding on the gold here. FedEx even raiding on the eco and the farms. So he got the advantage here, he was a little bit faster. He took map control, although took the better fights actually in, in early castle age. Got the five FedEx of course, which gave him a, a lot of gold. Uh, farm simulator, as you can see, to get all the elite vote raiders out. Uh, Siege, he only needed traps in this game, didn't need any uh, rams or ranches or whatever. So, FedEx superior in this game again. I feel he is a little bit better uh, in this series, and I wouldn't wonder if we're gonna see him in the big finals again. Uh, don't spoil it if you know what's going to happen here, of course. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this. Kel's War, a little bit of a boomy game, fight for the relics, and then Elite Vote Raiders for the win. See you next games. GG.